controlling Parkinson's disease be as easy as going for a bike ride? Dr. Manny Alvarez explores. 53-year-old Karen Jaffe is an active doctor, wife, and mother of three. And she was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease at just 46. I was actually only having some pain in my shoulder. And so when I went to see an orthopedic surgeon, he actually did an injection of a steroid. And then my arm started acting funny after that. And so I, for a year, was convinced it was from the injection, which it turned out not to be. Karen's case is considered mild, and she's taken medication to control it. But being told she has the slow-progressing disease still hit her heart. It's a tough diagnosis to have to hear um, because there's a lot of stigma associated with this disease. Cleveland Clinic researcher Jay Alberts has conducted several studies with Parkinson's patients. Inspiration for his latest trial comes from his passion for biking. He rode a tandem bike with a patient who has a bilateral deep brain stimulation implant to control his Parkinson's symptoms. As an experiment, he turned it off for the ride. It was a 50 mile day and we rode that first 15 miles and then we stopped and, and had a little break. And I'll never forget what he said to me. And he looked over and said, where did my tremor go? And I said, I don't know, but let's get back on the bike and keep going. This led to a more scientific eight week tandem bike trial. Patients, including Karen, rode for 40 minutes three times per week and saw a 35% improvement. If you give someone their Parkinson's medication, that activates a certain area of the brain and or increases blood flow. And if you have someone do forced exercise, we see almost an identical pattern of activation. Karen was able to lower her medication dosage and regain motion in her arm. Loss of smell is a common side effect of Parkinson's disease, and Dr. Albert says other patients regain their ability to smell as well. The effects lasted as long as four hours after exercising. For those of us who have Parkinson's, we don't have a cure. And so this is as close as I mean, if we can slow the disease or change the outcome, we'll take what we can get. And so I'll be cycling for you know as long as I have to. For more information, go to clevelandclinic.org. I'm Dr. Manny, Fox News. And as you just heard, that was Dr. Manny Alvarez reporting on that story.